Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about Niagara and spawning a single particle in Unreal 4. And in a way, we're actually going to be spawning no particles. So to get this started, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an emitter from an empty blank template. And just call this any, whatever you want. And we'll open that up. Now what's interesting is by default, we use all of these categories. We use emitter spawn, emitter update, particle spawn, and particle update. But if we go to our sprite render, you'll see this thing called source mode, and it's set to particles. So by this default, we're gonna be using all of these categories. But if we change this to emitter, we end up using just emitter spawn and emitter update. And you can see that we're spawning a particle, and the particle count is zero. Just let that play. And you see that the count isn't going up at all. So now if you wanted to adjust this single particle, all of the namespaces have moved from particle to emitter. And we can see that by looking at the sprite render and looking at the bindings, you can see now it says emitter position, emitter color, etc. So we don't even need this initialized particle or this particle state. This is significantly more efficient. Now if you wanted to adjust things like the position or the color, we need to add them and we need to add them through a set. So I'm going to add a new set or existing parameter directly. And the thing is, after we do this, if you look for position, you'll see that it's not showing up. And even if you look at the parameters window, you'll see that those bindings aren't in here. And if that's the case for you as well, you have to add them manually. So in here, we can see that one of our bindings are color binding, and it's called emitter color. So in our emitter, we'll just add a new color, linear color, and then we'll make sure to call this color. And now this should work. So we can just drag this in, and put it right on top of the set parameter. And now after it compiles, we can go and change this color. And you can see it's updating. Now, if you still wanted the ability to scale color or if you wanted to adjust things over time, we can take this set parameter and we move it down to emitter update. And now I'm gonna take this color and I'm going to and I'm going to break it. And now we have them all broken out. I believe this was 0.2 for the G, and this was one here. And right now the alpha is set to zero. If we set this to one, we get the full color. But we can now change this into a curve. And we should see that over time this is now fading out. Now if you wanted to adjust the lifetime of your particle. What you need to do is come to emitter state and you can change the life cycle mode to self and then adjust your loop behavior to whatever you want. Maybe you just want it at once. And then this loop duration is going to be your lifetime. So this is one of the ways that you can spawn one particle and be really efficient about it. There's a lot of times where you might want one particle for a flare or for a flash. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.